Hey guys, it's Nesta. Welcome back to an extra special edition of our house tours here in Dubai. Today we're going to be taking a look around this stunning property set in one of Dubai's most exclusive gated communities. We'll leave the price and the specs in the bottom corner and of course we want to thank BCI for allowing us to take a look inside. Also, if you're new here and you want to see more tours like this, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. So without further ado, and before I fall in the pool, let's go take a look inside. Start the tour right outside the front of this property. You can see how massive this structure is and that gateway which leads up to the front courtyard. You have these travertine steps with the recessed lighting. Now stay there. If you look at this archway with this scale to me, this is absolutely massive. Now we have a water feature on this side with the palm trees sticking out. And on the other side, we have the walkway which leads to the back garden. Before we head towards the front door and the courtyard, I want to take you this way. We have the driveway which leads down to the subterranean garage. Now you have an automated gate which opens up, but the feature that I wanted to show you is this other automated garage it has space for two cars. Now before we continue, I just want to say this place does have some finishing touches left to be done. So if you see anything out of place, that's the reason why. Now this garage has a really unique feature. So obviously you come in through this way. Now this is nicely kitted out. You have the recessed lighting at the top and the lighting at the back. But once you park in here, you don't have to walk all the way back out. What you do is, is you press this button here and you start heading up. Now I'm going to meet you by that other door. I'm going to explore the courtyard. But how cool is this? We come out this way, right in front of the front door in the central courtyard. There's also another reason why we have this lift and you're going to see that in the office a bit later in the tour. Now this central courtyard is stunning. You can see that's where the entrance is from the front. We have the central water feature in the middle with the gravel and greenery either side. There's also another detail you can see downstairs into your spa. Now this place has a view from all the angles of the home. It looks down onto here. We have the travertine walkway which leads up to the front door. Now this, Marco said this is the biggest front door he's ever seen. Now if you pan up, just look how big that is. Now, when I told him, I said, you know, Marco, this is not a whole thing. You don't actually open this whole massive thing, right? It's just this door here. We go inside. Now you can see, even with how large this door is, how easily it pivots. Now, I'm really excited to show you the interior of this home. It is beautiful. As you can see, with those warm tones, you have that travertine mostly throughout. Now, the layout of this home is you have a west wing and an east wing. On the downstairs of the west wing, you have the office and the kitchen, which we're going to tour in a second. And the first thing you see as you enter is this beautiful view through that wooden screen with that marble countertop in the front. That you're looking through that central seating area, which is one of my favorite things that I've seen in the home. Now, as we head along before we continue, I want to show you. So the home is automated. So you've got touchpad for your lights, for your curtains, and you also have an iPad which controls everything. Also, you have a little security cameras just here. Now, let's continue into the lobby. Before we head there, I want to show you one feature. So this is all book matched marble along the floors, which stretch down the width of this whole central part of the home. This has got to be at least 30 meters. Now I want to explain quickly why this is so expensive to do because book matching, you have to get this face of a quarry and you cut it out into blocks and then into slabs. And these are the slabs that match. Now, once you lay these down, you have to be super careful because if you lay it down and it chips, you can't use that block again and then it doesn't book match. So the technique to do it is the reason why this is so sort of coveted and expensive. Now, as you can see, we're in this lobby area. It's beautiful. You have that central piano right in the center, which is really a highlight feature in here. Now, I've got to have a little go. I've never had any lessons or anything, but let's see if you recognize this little tune. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I'm not going to be quitting my day job. So let's continue on. Right, so we have this wall here which separates the central seating area and the lobby. You can see it has that recessed lighting with that laser cut design. Above us, we have this ridge ceiling design also with that recessed lighting. Now across from us, if you follow me, this is the grand staircase which stretches from the top floor all the way down to the basement. You have this chandelier hanging down now from here you can also see down into your zen garden you can hear the noise from the spa downstairs now these stairs are beautifully done so you have those wood clad walls with the travertine floors and those wall sconces now if we continue on towards the lounge and entertainment area we have this waiting area now you have exits onto balconies here and you'll see on the property there are balconies dotted around so you have access to the outside at all times also we have that beautiful view in the back now if we head towards this way you can see why I said the lounge is more of an entertainment area as you have seating dotted throughout just here and here across from it you have this back wall that's wood clad and that fireplace underneath. Now these doors can all open up into the pool so you have that in and out experience. Here at the back we have this seating area with that wood clad back wall and that TV setup. I love that gold table that they have right in the center. Now, I say this is an entertainment area because you have sort of a separate entrance, so you wouldn't have to have people coming in through the lobby. People could come in from the side. Now, you have this side walkway, which we're going to show you in a little bit. But this bar has got to be the sleekest bar that I've ever seen. It has that black island in the center with that gray marble here in the back. You have the storage here on the side with that same sort of wood clad pattern that we had on the fireplace and above this really beautiful chandelier and I love the shapes of this. As we head towards the west wing of the home, I wanna talk a little bit about the Dubai Hills. So it's one of the most exclusive gated communities in Dubai and all the homes are based around the golf club which is in the center. And you can even see one of the holes directly from the backyard of this home. As we come into the middle of the home, the central seating really opens up with those double height ceilings and those floor to ceiling and glass windows which have this stunning view in the back and bring in so much of that natural light. Above us, this really unique chandelier and that balcony from the second floor. The seating has those beautiful warm tones with that sort of bit of pink matching with that travertine so well. And in front of that view from the back, you also have a Bang & Olufsen TV, which costs around $100,000. Now this is ultra luxurious. Here you can see that screen that we saw from the entrance of the home. As we head towards the office, now the west wing of the home has that same sort of lobby area, but of course we don't have a piano right in the center. Now come on, they're cutting corners without having two pianos. I'd never buy a home without two pianos. I'm joking, right? So above us, we have the sort of ridged ceiling design, same as on the other side with that recessed lighting. You also have a little sneak peek from here into the kitchen and you have access to the dining room on that side, but we're gonna head this way towards the office. As you can see we have this shelving here with the storage underneath. This is the door to the office, but I wanna show you these are these service stairs which lead from the basement all the way up to the top. You have access to the commercial kitchen from here also with that dumb waiter. Now the office is beautiful, really elegant how they've made it. We have the seating area at the front with the TV setup. Then you have wood cladding and those shelves with that recessed lighting. The actual office setup at the back, we have an exit to a terrace and what we saw in one of our other tours, we have a Ferrari motor here in the back. Now, the reason why we have a Ferrari motor, if you remember when, I, uh, when we toured the garage at the start of the tour, so that, that level that it raises up, you can display your favorite car here in the back. Now, this is stunning. Um, imagine behind me how it would look if you had like one of those Bugattis or LaFerraris that we saw in a previous video. Now, that tour was insane. So after this video, go check that out. It had a bowling alley. A cinema was crazy. Now, heading back out the office towards the kitchen, you can already see that view in the back. Now, there's such a nice vibe with those palm trees and that seat in front really feels like something from Architectural Digest that you'd see. On the way to the kitchen, we have a temperature controlled wine fridge with that sort of backlit marble wall. Now that red marble wall, you'll see that marble continue throughout the home in little certain spots. Also seamlessly hidden into the wall, we have a powder room with a travertine throughout and that laser cut design with those hanging lights either side. 
Coming through to the kitchen, you could see how this would be a dream kitchen for some people. The space really opens up. We have the marble island in the center with the chandelier above. This back wall here is wood clad with that shelving on the other side. We also have a little breakfast bar right at the front. You have access to the dining room through here and the storage. So we have storage dotted throughout, but you can see inside these drawers, this is made to the top of the range. And the fixed appliances in here are all Gaganau. So we have the convection cooktop and the oven underneath. This is really big. We haven't seen one like this before. The other appliances are all Smeg. Now, as we move along, we also have another oven and the microwave. Now, this is a really cool feature. So we have these warming drawers underneath. Now, these are underneath both. Also, the dishwasher, obviously. Now, the coffee machine has this unique feature. We haven't seen this before. Now, we're trying to figure out what this is. So, it's magnetic. And my best guess is this is a portable Gaganau coffee cup, which is really cool. We haven't seen that before. Now, as we head into the commercial kitchen, we come through this pocket door. Now, it took us a while to figure out how this opened. We're trying to push to open the pocket door. But you have a little latch here, and it opens just like that and slides into the wall. Coming into the commercial kitchen, now this is like fully kitchen grade. We have the induction oven right at the top with the cookers here at the back. Now you have a gas cooktop and a convection cooktop with the ovens either side. So many fridges and storage in here with the pantry at the back. And that is also that door, if you remember, from the staircase that leads in through there. Heading back through the kitchen, we come into the breakfast area. Now you have these curtains surrounding it, even on the entrance to the dining room. Now, whilst we've been touring these homes, we've always wondered why these curtains drag along the floor. And we spoke to the designer and that is a sort of haute couture thing that you have for luxury homes. As it drags, it creates these arches as you would find in a theater. Now I'll show you as I open them all up, you'll see those lines coming along. It's going this way. If it was opening, it would have it that way. Now you can see the sun's coming in from this side. This is a beautiful time. So this is a breakfast area in the morning. It's around 10 o'clock right now. You can see the sun's coming through. We have the breakfast table in the center with the teardrop chandelier above. Obviously the beautiful view of the golf course in the back. Now, if you follow me into the dining room, I love the colors that BCI have used here. That yellow contrasts so well with those warm tones and it matches with that chandelier above. We have the marble table in the center, which seats 12 and we have a wood clad back wall with the travertine shelving. Also these floor to ceiling glass windows bring in so much of that natural light and they are sliding doors so they open up and you can have that in and out experience with the dining and seating outside. Which we're going to tour in a bit but let's head to the basement now because we're going to show you some of the goodies that we have downstairs. Along the way I want to show you the whole vibe of this home. Come with me. <music> So we're back at the staircase. Now let's head down into the basement. So as we come down the stairs, you can really see how this basement opens up. At the bottom of the stairs, we have this beautiful Zen garden. Now above, you can see that chandelier, which hangs all the way from the top floor and those lights really make those details sparkle. Now behind me, you have these beautiful red colors that really pop from the walls. And right in the center, there's a seating area which leads into the coffee bar. It's a beautiful marble island with the breakfast chairs at the front. Now on the other side, you can also see that this wooden piece of the island is connected by this copper detail in the middle. We also have this amazing Lavazza coffee machine. Now I would love to make a little affogato right now for me and Marco. It's that good. But speaking of affogato, I forgot to mention this is also a candy bar. Now you may be wondering why we have a candy bar here. It's because we're connected right next to the cinema. Now these sliding doors open up. You also have a popcorn maker, which goes along with that cinema. We have some wine cooler here. So if you're feeling in the mood of a bit of a glass of wine while you're watching the movie, we have storage and shelving either side. Now right to the back here, past this beautiful statue is the powder room with that onyx backlit wall and those jewel standing vanities. Now coming through, we're finally in the cinema. This is one of my favorite rooms in the home. As it opens up, you can see how beautifully done it is with the carpets throughout. And above us, you can see they have the wood paneling. And I love this curve here at the back. And you can also see that's a 4K projector. And beneath these chairs are such good quality just by the touch and feel. And also they're automated. So if you wanted to, you could put your feet up while you watch the movie. 
In front, there's this lounge bed. Now, this is probably the softest thing I've ever sat on. Now, I love these details that they've used the curtains to make it more of that theater feel. In the front, we have this huge cinema screen with the wood paneling on the side and the BW surround system. Now, follow me back outside. We're gonna head through that seating area towards the spa. Now, you can see the entrance to the gym is just there. You can enter it from both sides of the basement. Along the way, we have the elevator, which comes from the top floor all the way down here, the electrical room. This is the entrance to the spa, but I wanna show you this seating area that we have right in the middle which looks onto the bar. Now there's a lot more natural light in here coming through that gym from that mini courtyard towards the back garden. We have the seating with the coffee table and that beautiful chandelier above and right across from us here on this travertine wall, we have the TV built in. Now I wanna show you a quick detail. There's this a copper chimney, which is above that little fireplace that we have. Now, if we head back towards the entrance to the spa, we have a pivot door which opens up you can see how much brighter the spa is as we have that skyline and that's from the courtyard if you remember there's that fountain in the front and as awesome is those shades that it creates with those ripples in the water now that's all above the pool in the center with the jacuzzi at the back either side we have the lounge chairs now surrounding us is a combination of the wood that we saw on the stairs now that's actually oak veneer wood so that's combined with the marble walls on the back wall we have some greenery which is mirrored across on the other side of the spa so we have this frosted glass with greenery behind now that doesn't actually open up what they have is lights behind it and creates these awesome silhouettes now at the other side of the spa is the sauna and steam room so we have a swedish style with the wood throughout the steam room has that white marble now, right next to it is these jewel showers with those huge rain heads above. As we continue on through here is the water closet also has that wood cladding and a door to the electrical cupboard. Now these pivot doors lead straight into the bar area. Now, before we explore, I want to pay homage to this Joker painting Now they've picked Eliza's face. This is a really cool feature. Now the bar has that marble island with the breakfast chairs at the front. And it's also dual level. So if you come around and see, we have this copper countertop. Now here we have a sink and also a dishwasher. So it's super convenient with that. The back wall, we have this difference between that copper and travertine shelving all mixed with one with that mirrored back wall. Also more storage and a wine cooler, fridges, ice maker, everything you need to host your party. As we head this way, we have the other entrance to the gym and this glass paneling, which looks into your garage. Now you have two spaces there where you can display two of your favorite cars and the mirror behind, it sort of duplicates that and it's a great attraction for people here in the bar area. We have some storage along the way and as we come into the garage, you can see that it's fully blacked out. So you have two spaces like here that we said, you have these strip lighting to illuminate those cars. And if you remember the cross lighting that we saw in the automated garage at the front, it's the same sort of design. Here we have space for another three cars. Now you have two superchargers here for your electric vehicles. As we know, everyone's going green these days. We have an entrance to a water closet and this is the sort of entrance from the driveway. Now, if you see those lights, it kind of looks like one of them landing strips. Now sort of hidden into the wall, we have the entrance into the staff quarters. And the maze quarters is fully like its own apartment. And I tell you what, if you Airbnb it, I'm sure you have a lot of people stay. Now, follow me around here. This is the sleeping quarters. So we have the dual beds here with the full ensuite bathroom. Now, follow me around. This is a fully set up kitchen. Now, you can see why I was saying this is like its own apartment with the oven, the induction fan above. We also have another sleeping quarters here. Now you all have that natural light coming in through that window with its air con, you have a TV back wall and the ensuite in the back. Now I'll tell you what, this place on its own in some other building would be a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand dollar apartment on its own. On the way back through the kitchen, I want to show you so that as we have a doorbell on the entrance, we also have it in the staff quarters. Follow me around into the laundry room. Now this has three washer dryers fully equipped. You have that dumb waiter which comes down in the back. There's a sink with a lot more storage. This house has so much storage. I would never know how to fill it up. Through this door, we're back at the bottom of the service stairs. Now you can see that bauble chandelier hanging down and that wood paneling. I don't even know if I'd call these the service stairs. This is just a normal staircase. Now head back with me through the bar. We're heading into the gym. 
there's another pivot door. And as you enter, the first thing that really catches your eye is that view in the back into that courtyard. Now we've opened up those dual sliding doors just to have that sort of experience in here. The gym is fully kitted out. So you have techno gym equipment, we have the weights, the machines here in the back. It's wood clad and this back wall here is has the diagonal lines behind that mirror. Now, as we come out, let me tell you, this has been the place where anytime we've had a break, this is where we've chilled out because you can understand just by that sound of the fountain, how peaceful it is down here. This really is a staple of this home, this Zen garden outside the gym. Imagine working out and having this view. We have the gravel all around and the tree right in the center with some seating here in the back. Just listen to the sound of that waterfall. This is stunning. We have exits to the pool area on this side. We're gonna go this way first. Now, as we head up the stairs, you can see you have travertine throughout first thing we see as we come out is the pool but I'll talk about that as we head back across the other side. This is the exit from the kitchen if you remember where we have that in and out experience. We have that breakfast area here and a lounge. Head with me towards the barbecue. Now this is stunning, it's all under a pergola. We have a dining setup, ultra modern. It seats 10 with that chandelier above. Now you can see that these floors here in a circle around the pergola, these are all wooden throughout. The barbecue area in the back here is fully equipped with top of the range equipment. We have fridges, ice makers, and look, just check this out. This feels such good quality made by Beretti. Above us, they've cut out this skylight here in this oval shape with those dark beams that come across. Also this landscaping here in the back, you can see that is the driveway entrance from the front of the property. Now, as we head back across, I want to talk about these views. You have people playing golf most of the day. Of course, when it's too hot, they're not around, but it's such a vibe here. You have these stunning villas here in the back. Dubai Hills really is one of the most exclusive uh, gated communities. Now, as we head towards the pool, this is one feature that goes along with it. So you have the showers outside. The pool itself has these palm trees protruding out of the ground and the steps coming in. Also, those sun lounges there are beautiful. If you remember, this is where we came up from the courtyard area. Now, I just want to tell you, the scale of this place is massive. Just check out those windows from that central seating area. You can see how big that is. Now, I love the lines of this home. It really reminds me of sort of a Mediterranean vibe. You can also see those balconies which are dotted around and upstairs from the primary and junior wings. Also, I want to talk about these stepping stones. These are a really nice feature, but dangerous. There's been a couple of times where I've nearly fallen off. Now, this is the other exit from the courtyard area. And if you remember from the lounge, the views that we saw, so we have a seating area connected. So if you wanted to, you could open up these doors so you can have that in and out flow while you're entertaining. Here we have some sun lounges here, which are a lot more comfy than the ones that we saw in the pool. But the views from here onto the home are incredible. Now, if you come along with me, we have some fire features which lead up to one of the biggest fire pits that I've ever seen. I don't know how many people the, this can sit, but this whole area is also connected with that lounge and entertainment area. So you can have everyone inside and outside. We also have a bar out here with a water feature in the back. It's not currently working, but we do have a B-roll of that for you. We have the chairs at the front. Now the bar is also fully equipped. We have the fridges, ice maker and storage underneath. And I love the minimalistic design of this bar. It really goes well with that water feature in the back. Now the views from here are incredible also. You can see that pool and as the wind's blowing right now, it's sort of making those waves and ripples across it. It's stunning. Now right behind the water feature, there's a toilet. And this place kind of feels like a spa with those pebbles underneath. And these sinks have that sort of exposed rock on one side and sort of smooth finish on the top. Now, the walkway leads to the front of the property. I love the landscaping that they've done here. This place feels like an oasis. We have this tranquil seating area with the water feature, and I love that recessed lighting under that marble block. Here is the exit from the lounge bar area that we saw. As we head further this way, we're gonna head into the first guest wing, I'd even call it. So as you can see, you can have this place separate to the home. So if you wanted your guests that are staying here, they can arrive through a separate door. So as we head in here, we come straight into the walk-in closet. Now we have storage either side. You have some glass panels here with the recessed in lighting. Also, as you open up these ones, 
these lights turn on automatically underneath those shelves so they highlight your clothes obviously soft closing as well now this is the entrance to the ensuite bathroom we have a vanity with some storage underneath and this huge around mirror behind me is this walk-in shower now as we head out i also want to show you these are pocket doors here and i love the sort of design that they have on them so let's head back outside into the bedroom. We have this entrance area here. So these glass windows, you can see out into the central courtyard with that water feature. And also I love these wall sconces that they have. That lighting is stunning in this home. Now the bedroom itself is separated into two parts. So you have the lounge area here. Now I love the vibe that we have here in the back with that landscaping and those palm trees and those huge windows bringing in that light. Now this lounge area, we have the TV set up across from it with that floating shelf underneath. If you head across with me, this bedroom is stunning with that cotton padding and the wood paneling. This really does feel like its own apartment in here. It's like that's why it's called the guest wing. As we head out through this way, we have this area between the lobby and the guest bedroom. So we've gone full circle. If you remember, that's where we started the tour. Now there's this door here to the server room hidden seamlessly into the wall. And another little extra section here, we have a guest bathroom. Now this is when you're entertaining people can come through the lobby into this part. We have a sink right here with these hanging chandeliers above and the water closet right in here. Now let's head back through this huge glass door like we had in the office. We're back into the lobby area. There's that Petrov piano right in the center standing out. And what we're going to do, we're going to take the elevator up to the bedrooms. So as we come up to the first floor, I want to show you the elevator inside because it is also super luxurious. You have the small details like the laser cut wood with the bronze handles and you have the recessed lighting in behind that mirror. Also the AC in here so it doesn't really get too hot. Now we arrive in the upstairs lobby area. I'm going to show you before we head to the first bedroom, I'm going to show you this chandelier from up here. So you can see, we saw it from downstairs, you can see from where it stretches. And as you look down, the view is beautiful onto that Zen garden right in the basement. Right here, we have the entrance to the primary bedroom, but we're gonna head there in just a minute. I wanna show you the first bedroom this way. But along the way, we have the wet kitchen. Now this is equipped for convenience. So you have sort of the coffee machine, the sink, a lot of storage. And the next room along, you have even more extra storage, but this leads into the electrical room. Now the first bedroom really feels like its own apartment. As we enter, we have the walk-in on the left-hand side with storage either side. This one has the glass paneling and the shelving. Also, when you open up the drawers, you have these small compartments where you can store your watches and your belts. Here leads into the ensuite bathroom with the pocket door, which opens up. Now you have this sort of gray travertine in here. As soon as you enter is the floating vanity and cool little compartments here. As you open it up, you have the shelving, and the walk-in shower with that rain head above and those laser cut details on the travertine. Now going back to the bedroom, which has a really similar layout to the one we saw downstairs. We have that screen in the middle separating the sort of living and bedroom area. And then the screen is custom made with that laser cut wood and we have the shelving underneath. Also this chair here, if you remember that sofa from the central seating area in the lobby downstairs, it kind of looks like the same shape. But if you come across with me, the bedroom, so you have the bed right in the middle. Now we've not quite seen this yet. You have that cotton padding at the back, which stretches all the way across. You have the hanging lights either side. And a final little feature I want to show you, which I thought was really cool. You have these sort of moving reading lights, which you can use. Now let's head back through to the upstairs lobby. We'll continue the tour towards the west wing of the home. On the way, there's this floating staircase which heads up to the rooftop where we're going to end our tour. Now, I love the details that they've used this bronze metal, so it looks like it's holding it up, but these are actually fully floating staircase. Now, if you follow me through, this is another central seating area that they have, as we saw downstairs. Now, this has been somewhere where we've gravitated towards mostly because the views here are incredible. You're looking out onto the golf course through that chandelier that we saw. Now, I want to mention as well, you have a view onto that central seating area in the downstairs. But as the day goes on, the sun moves across and it shines through the palm trees and the TV creating these beautiful shadows. Also this seating right in the center, you have the 
slates above like we've been seeing throughout the home. Continuing through to the west wing of the upstairs, we have this central area between all the bedrooms where we have this office setup that's wood clad and that beautiful uh, burgundy marble countertop. Heading into the second bedroom of the upstairs, we have another walkway. Now these floor to ceiling glass windows bring in so much of that natural light and you're looking out onto the entrance and that central courtyard. The second bedroom has those Lithuanian wooden floors throughout. Now this is mirrored from the first guest bedroom that we saw upstairs, but this time we have the walk-in on the right hand side. Obviously you have all that storage, but what I didn't show you is stuff like this. So what they've included in the build of this home, they have in the shelves, it's shoe racks. So it's a lot more convenient. Now the ensuite bathroom has another pocket door which enters into the ensuite. So the floating vanity in front, as we saw in the other one with the storage either side, right behind you is the water closet and the full walk-in shower. Now heading through to the bedroom, now as you can see as we're filming from this side, you can see how much of that natural light comes in through those floor to ceiling glass windows. Obviously there's construction going on right now, so BCI is building two mega mansions either side, and that's not from the core and shell, they've done it from the ground up, so I can't wait to show you those. I think they're going to be ready by summer, fingers crossed. Now a unique feature in here that we didn't see in the other room is like what they've done with this shelving. They put these LED lights underneath to highlight those things that you want to put on the shelves. The bedroom itself obviously has the same layout with the sort of living area on one side and the bedroom on the other. Now on the way back I want to show you a couple of service rooms and I'm going to go quickly into detail if you head inside the maids room with me. So me and Marco were talking about this when we were looking at the home. So the size of this room like for us growing up, this was a huge room. If you can just imagine it, that here in the back, you'd have a desk with a sofa and the TV in front. Like this would have been an amazing room as you're younger, especially with that ensuite, with that travertine and that walk-in shower. But let's head down further. There's another service room. So these are the service stairs with the entrance to the wet kitchen hidden seamlessly in this wood clad wall. Now this has that dumb waiter that we saw in the wet kitchen downstairs, which just runs parallel. So you can see it runs from the basement all the way up to the top floor. Heading this way, this is the next bedroom along the way. Now we have extra storage here which runs along towards the third bedroom. As you enter, you're immediately in the walk-in. Now you have the storage here behind with the shelving. Also some more of these glass cupboards. Now I didn't mention in the other rooms that these are soft closing, which is really handy. Now in the bedroom, right behind you is a wood clad wall with the desk built in and this round lounge chair, which I love. Now, one thing we haven't seen with BCR projects is something like this. This is fully made out of wood and it looks like it's floating with the recessed lighting in behind. Across from that is the bed with the backboard sort of built into the wall. This is really amazing work. But let's head into the ensuite bathroom through another pocket door. So you have the double vanity with the huge mirror above. Now this also looks like it's floating as we saw with that TV setup with the recessed lighting in behind. At the back, we have the walk-in shower. Now you also have the water closet here, all in one with that laser cut detail. Now if we head back in front of the junior suite, now the entrance has this a beautiful pivot door which stretches all the way from the ceiling to the floor with the glass panels either side so you get a preview of what's to come. You see how that pivot door works, it opens up. We've opened up the balcony just behind us so you get that feeling of the in and out experience. We have a little seating area and above us that slated roof design with the recessed lighting. Now from here, as you can see, the views are beautiful and you can even hear the sound of that fountain in the Zen garden outside of the gym. Also, if you pop over like this without falling off, you can even see the Burj Al Arab in the background. Now continuing through to the bedroom, we have the combination of those Lithuanian wooden floors and the carpet throughout. We have the bed at the back with the wooden laser cut backboard and the bed sit in the front. Across from you is the TV and of course another balcony which looks out onto that view. What I love in here is this marble that they've done with this accent wall with those wooden shelf really warms this room up. Now continuing through to the walk-in closet before we get in there we have the sort of lady section. So this is a huge vanity mirror which stretches all the way down. You can also come in from the other side if you wanted. You have storage either side and that huge mirror as well. I think it's a lady's dream in there. The walk-in itself, you have the marble island in the center with this beautiful chandelier above. Now we have these glass panels which open up onto this shelving. Now if you come a little bit closer, Marco, I want to show you one thing. So inside, you obviously have storage for your watches and belts 
but the felt lining inside it feels so soft and beautiful. Now, across from us, we're going to head into the bathroom, which feels very much like a spa. We have that light travertine throughout. We have a custom built double vanity here with that huge mirror across from you. We have a freestanding tub and this little indentation here with some recessed lighting. On that side, we have the water closet. And as we head towards the walk-in shower, I want to show you. So it has a Juliet balcony. So if you wanted to open it up, and get some fresh breeze in or get that steam out if you're having one of those steam showers you could do that and such a stunning view behind there as well now the walk-in shower has that huge rain head with the bronze details and obviously that custom made shampooage now let's head back to the upstairs lobby in front of the primary bedroom which has the same style of entrance as the junior suite does with that pivot door and in the entrance area we have that combination of the carpet and wooden floors now i love this little desk here at sunset the sun comes shining through this looks beautiful our final feature is the balcony that you have which is also included in the bedroom area now the views from here onto the golf course and the pool area are beautiful now the bedroom area itself is huge you have so much space you have the bed at the back with the felt padded back wall above you this beautiful indented recess lighting Across from you is the TV setup with that huge TV and this reading area. Now, obviously, you could turn these chairs around if you wanted to look out onto that view in the morning with your cup of coffee. If you head with me towards the double walk-in, so this is the primary bedroom because it does have a his and a hers side. Now, they are set up identically. You have the island in the center with the chandelier above. The only difference is that this has the vanity mirror, so this is obviously the hers side. Each side also has a Juliet balcony, which looks out onto the views. This one looks out onto the golf course. And if you wanted to, you could open it up and it brings in that fresh breeze. Now heading into the ensuite bathroom, this is stunning. It really does feel like a spa as soon as you enter. The first thing you see is this jewel floating vanity with those pebbles underneath and that mirror with the recessed lighting behind. On this side, you have the water closet. And on each, you have a Juliet balcony with those windows that you can open up it also has that frosted glass, so it's with a bit more privacy. Heading to this side, you can see we have some storage and the freestanding tub with that bronze faucet. Now that bronze is continued into the dual shower. Now this is beautiful in here. That travertine has that wave design and the features of this shower are amazing. So you have the rain head above, you have these jets which can massage you and the waterfall feature. Now this is great having a dual shower because you don't really have to wait with your husband or wife in the mornings. Now let's head back to the lobby and we're gonna head up those floating stairs to the rooftop. Now the sun's setting right now, so the view up here is gonna be amazing. I can't wait to show you, let's go up. The rooftop has both an indoor and an outdoor area with this huge glass separating the two. At the back here, we have some shelving which matches the design of the staircase. In the center, we have this seating area. It's, it's a lounge, really, with this huge 98-inch TV right in front of you. On the other side, we have a travertine wall with some more of that shelving and this awesome little statue. You can go outside on either of the exits, but this way, we're straight into the bar. Now, this bar is equipped as well, so you have fridges and a sink, all you need to make cocktails up here with a seating area looking out onto that beautiful golf course. Also, on the other side, we have an outdoor lounge area as well. Unfortunately, that's the end of our tour of this stunning mega mansion. We hoped you like it as much as we did. Of course, a massive thank you to BCI for allowing us to take a tour. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.